Hello everyone. Now today I want to talk about one of my favorite, all time favorite feature in uh, org mode and uh, this is not the very first time I am talking about uh, this. I have made I believe videos on this in the past but I, I, I thought I'll probably talk about it uh, today to uh, share this with all the new Emacs org mode users, org mode users of course because uh, they may want to do it and I think uh, this is definitely, definitely one of the most uh, important thing for many people. I might be wrong, but uh, when we talk about uh, doing work, when we talk about, let us say, any project, we always talk about time. We always talk about how long it will take. We always talk about uh, whether this can be done in two days or three days or three months or six months. Usually when we work for, let us say, clients, it could be based on a project or it could be based on uh, maybe your own internal product. Time spent is in most cases important. You may want to know how much time you're spending uh, on different activities and I think it will and it, it does help you in uh, be more organized. So when I when I do my work, any work, that is important that I'm doing for maybe uh, for my own personal goals or maybe I'm working for a client or uh, anything that I know is important for me and I need to finish it, I need to do it. I also want to know maybe how much time I spent on that particular activity last week because the way we work, we have 24 hours in a day and normally all of us work roughly eight hours or maybe a bit more than eight hours. It depends uh, if you are uh, if you are maybe too desperate to achieve your goals and of course you can spend more time and people do spend more time uh, more than quite a lot more than eight hours. I know a lot of people who work for 15 hours which is a bit difficult but sometimes or or on a normal productive day I think I spend roughly 12 hours doing something of course no not everything is always pro productive but time is important measure and uh, we always say that uh, not everything should be based on time but in reality time is a very good measure you may want to know uh, how long this activity uh, will last this particular task will take to finish and uh, when you have this time boxed approach i think uh, you try to finish it in that particular period. So what I'm trying to convey is if you think that you need to worry about the time spent on different activities, then do take a look at uh, org modes clock time feature. And it is extremely simple to use. It is, uh, I, I cannot even explain how simple it is because uh, if you are already using Emacs and org mode, or maybe if you're thinking of using Emacs, an org mode, then uh, clock time feature could be one one cool feature that will excite you and I think it will solve a lot of your problems in case uh, you want to uh, be more organized, you want to track your time because I do that. I have been doing it for many years and uh, this particular feature, although I don't r really use it for each and every kind of activity because in org mode you basically have you basic you can basically make notes and uh, you can also do your task management or you can do a bit of your own personal project management and uh, whenever whenever you whenever we talk about uh, doing some work important work you want to track you want to track how long you spent on that particular activity because usually when we talk about money as well. Money is also directly, in in almost all cases, directly proportional to the amount of time that we work on an activity. Not always, but in majority of cases. So let us, uh, uh, so this is of course, you know, my pitch. I wanted to talk about it, but I have of course talked about it in the past. I've shown how it works, but I think I will probably share very briefly. So if you're on a, any particular header, any task, you can basically insert the clock by using this command, Control C, Control X, C, 
control i and uh, doing this is actually very easy if you do this like right now we are talking about I, i just did this by the way for this particular level and it will insert this logbook entry for me so it says here the clock started at uh, this particular time which is right now 6:03 3 past 6 and uh, so the moment you do it you will notice something at the uh, very bottom it will basically show you your running clock and uh, you can do something with this particular clock maybe you'll wait for it to finish or, or let us say you started this clock maybe at 5 o'clock so you can always i mean the good thing about org mode is that everything is in front of you it is a text file modify it and uh, if if you respect the format of what things need to be for example date should be in this format uh, i mean not always i mean you can always customize things but let us say if you are following this format and you want to change the time you can change the time i mean no no one is stopping you from changing the time and when you're done with your work and uh, and i have been talking for 1 minute so you can see that it will it is it is not counting the time it's like a counter and you can do a lot of wonderful things let us say you're working on an, working on an, on an activity so when i look at my agenda when i start the work and by the way you can also start this clock from your agenda so if your cursor is at let us say a specific agenda line just start the clock do your work if you're distracted if you have to let us say pick up a call or maybe someone is asking you bothering you disturbing you to get something from the market if you are working from home or if you are in the office people always disturb uh people always want to disturb you and uh, it is a sad reality but if that happens then you can stop the clock you can resume the clock and uh, in all cases you can always modify the clock yourself so if you have been let us say working for 2 minutes or maybe half an hour let us say or 1 hour or 2 hours and you think now you're done you can always do something like control c control x and control o now it will uh, basically insert this clock or uh, this particular uh, time difference for you so let me just uh, decrease the size a bit so i think this is better so now we are looking at 2 minutes now i was talking about modifying it so if you think it is not really 6 o'clock when you started the work because maybe you have been working for more than a couple of hours so you can always modify the time yourself if you want to and just like anything else in conf- in not not confluence why i'm saying confluence but just like just like anything else in org mode you can do control c control c to basically calculate this time difference for you so now it is 2 hours 2 minutes now this is great um and of course we just learn how to do this control c control c now the thing is that sometimes you also want to um report because when you when you and by the way this is something that you can do uh, in different files your different files could be different actual agenda files and uh, it could be the same file where you're working on i mean I, i try not to keep too many org files on my system uh, but if you have multiple files you may want to report or find out how long you spend so basically you can do something like this begin i mean within your begin and end tags you can do clock table clock table will let you report on the time spent and uh, you can sp- actually specify d- the duration because that makes sense you don't really want to know um what you did 2 years ago although you can but that will take a bit longer than few seconds so i want to i usually want to know what have what i did in the past 4 weeks or let us say 2 weeks whatever so you can also uh, change the scope so you can have scope like um, i mean scope will define where to look for so you can um b- basically you can uh, do something like nil so nil will basically focus on the current uh, buffer or this particular narrowed region so if you do control c control c you can see here that we have clock time which is now showing us what we just did uh, which is uh, of course above and uh, Uh, if you want to learn these things then of course just do quick google search or go to org mode website and uh, you can learn about it there are other things that you can do maybe in your current uh, i mean you don't really want to focus on the current narrowed one let us see if we have something in the in the file and uh, when you when you modify something let us say your scope do this update again so i think uh, in the current buffer we just have this entry but you can have more entries by the way so 
this is awesome in my opinion and you don't have to generate this report all the time i mean you can actually get rid of it if you really want to but uh, for example if i want to just remove this entry so you can end uh, i mean you can remove this and if you do it again now you don't really have any time which is uh, fine but this can be of course customized based on your requirements and uh, and you can basically uh, also use different commands to insert this quickly there are so many wonderful things that you can uh, uh, do with clock mode but in my opinion the way i have been using it the way i try to use it is the most simplest way is to start the clock stop the clock and i try not to interrupt myself because this is like a motivation for me because i i, I have like i have some uh, because if i'm working on something and i'm interrupted then i feel bad and sad at the same time and uh, in some cases angry as well because uh, when i start the work i want to finish it and that is why i try not to block more than i mean i try not to follow P pomodoro although you can with an emacs or you can write a shell script i prefer shell script because when you have a shell script you can actually use notify send to send those wonderful messages that okay stop working because i when i work on something i try to you know just do some work for a while and i only take a break when i am tired or when i can't really focus on the screen anymore which is i know not really ideal but that is how i am able to achieve deep work because you have to like spend some time doing some deep work not get up from your seat after like 25 minutes but sometimes i i also do that sometimes i also follow pomodoro technique or some sim something similar but what i'm trying to tell you is uh, i i use this clock time feature because uh, it basically uh motivates me or you can say it uh, it, it kind it, in a way it is like adding a constraint on 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 my time block like if i have something in my agenda and whenever i have something in my agenda i normally have like time blocks i don't really plan my work on a daily basis uh, like do this on this day i actually also do planning hourly basis because that is how i work i have like uh, time blocks like do this from four o'clock till seven o'clock in the morning then do something else and something else and something else like right now i'm making my, these, these videos i have dedicated time uh, f from five o'clock till six o'clock every day and today i'm a bit late but it is okay because um because i have to finish it and i will finish it but the the thing is and by the way if while i'm making a video there is a clock running which is uh, basically um capturing the time that i am spending on this particular video so in my opinion clock time feature is a great way simple great feature to actually get things done and uh, and it is like uh, having someone guiding you directing you to finish the work and don't get up because there is a clock running although i mean sometimes you have to um you have to take a break you have to uh do something which is a bit more urgent for example on my phone i have like all my notifications that are always silent so i choose when to get distracted um and uh, that is not always the case sometimes you have to take a break sometimes you all you have to basically uh, uh stop the work whatever you are doing and then attend that super urgent thing and there there are provisions in uh, the if you if you read the uh, the clock ta clock clock time documentation there are ways to uh handle those situations but as i mentioned before i try to just start the clock stop the clock that is it and i, I think uh, when you are when you are doing it for multiple activities across different agenda files and if you have that log book entry then uh, this will uh, i think uh, massively help you not only for uh, for staying organized but uh, because you are doing it uh, for maybe a client maybe you want to know how much time you spent on an activity so this log book entry will always be there in your uh, 
in your agenda files and uh, you can always you know read from them and uh, that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned uh, something new today thank you very much bye bye